Hello everyone, my name is Angelo Storga and today I'm excited to present the next chapter in Mining Specifications Modular Test Generator. In particular, Synthesizing Contracts Correct. This is a collaboration with Shambhuditya Saha, two undergrads, Ahmad Dinkings and Felicia Wang, and our advisors, Madhusudan Parthasarathy and Tao Shia. Over time, many specification languages have been developed for writing contracts. A design by contract language pioneered by Bertrand Mayer, the Java modeling, modeling language, and the SpecSharp and CodeContract.net languages developed by Microsoft. Annotating modules with contracts the state preconditions and summaries ha has many benefits. First, it supports software development, where code satisfying the same contract can be swapped in. Second, Contracts enable clients to understand modules. Contracts also enable downstream analysis, including unit testing, oracles for regression testing, and runtime monitoring. In fact, the spec sharp and code contracts were used in, in Microsoft for testing. But despite their benefits, manually writing these contracts is time consuming and error prone. So generating them automatically is an important problem. My approach to mining contracts is to learn them using test generators. Given a method M in a class C in an object-oriented language, I want to learn two things, a precondition phi and a summary psi of M. The guarantee of correctness of the mine specification is in terms of the test generator. For preconditions, this notion is formalized in my previous work. Preconditions are safe when the test generator is enabled to find inputs to cause the program to crash. Maximality is a more complex condition. The focus of the current work is on how to learn summaries modular or test generator. The reason why we guarantee correctness with respect to a test generator as opposed to a verifier is that test generators scale much better than verification tools. This is the learning framework that we use. We have a contract synthesis engine, which we call a learner. The learn summaries given a set of concrete behaviors. We send such contracts to the test generator, which checks for safety and returns behaviors that are not covered by the, by the current contract. In terms of learning, we can see these behaviors as positively labeled examples that a contract must include. However, it turns out that the test generator cannot report negative behavior. This makes the learning problem different from standard supervised learning of classifiers and different from precondition synthesis in my earlier work. Notice that we repeat this loop. Notice that when we repeat this loop and converge, we are guaranteed to find a safe contract summary, contract summary modulo the test generator. But the problem with this framework is that it allows for very weak summaries when we actually need strong ones. Here's an example. We want to synthesize a summary for the insert method from the dictionary class. Let us assume the precondition is true. We use features to abstract from concrete input output state pairs. Features are primitive type input and output parameters, along with the return parameters of various combinations of integer and Boolean observer methods applied to parameters of M at enter and exit points of M. Observer methods are side effect free and express property of object parameters, including the receiver object state. This example has three observers denoted by the pure attribute. It is a conscious choice to use observers as contract summaries are meant to be used by clients who do not have access to the internal state of objects. Base predicates are defined over integer features and standard operation for primitive types such as greater than and can also include Boolean features. Counter examples are vector values of the previously mentioned features along with valuations of predicates. The table shows other examples returned by the test generator. The logic for contract summaries is quantifier free Boolean combinations of atomic predicates where summaries relate input and output parameters, including the effect on the receiver object state and other objects in the parameter of them. But now we need to discuss strength. Formalizing strength is not trivial because there is a tension between the strength of a summary and overfitting. 
a very strong contract is one that essentially says that the behavior has to be one of the observed behaviors, S1 or S2 or SI, as you can see on the left hand side. This grossly overfits the samples and does not generalize, and it will take a long time to converge if ever. Notice that this contract also requires a large number of disjuncts. In general, the more disjuncts we have, the stronger contracts can be, but too many disjuncts can cause overfitting. We can move to other extreme and disallow disjunctions altogether. However, this will result in a very weak contract as the one you can see on the right. What we need is a balance between strength and the number of disjunctions used we want strong contracts that also use a small number of disjunctions. One of our main contributions is the notion of tight summaries. Contract summaries are written in the form of decision trees with conjunctions of variables at its leaves, where, where the ITE stands for if then else and has a standard meaning. The number of conditionals or ITE sub expressions is a measure of how disjunctive a tree is. Fix a set of samples S and a set of predicates R. A decision tree T star with n conditionals is tight if there's no decision tree T such that T includes S. T is a strictly stronger than T star and T has at most n plus one conditionals. The intuition is that a contract is tight if using one more disjunction does not result in a stronger contract. Let the dark blue region be the set of all behaviors. Take the contract T1, which just asserts R. This contract is not tight, as there's another tree T2 that is stronger and uses one conditional. Now we can ask if T2 is tight, and it turns out that it is tight, as there is no tree with one more conditional that captures a stronger contract. The second main contribution of this work is a learner of tight summaries. Contract synthesizer takes us input a set S of positive examples, set of base predicates RB, integer features, Boolean features, and it will output a probably tight decision tree. The, the procedure first synthesizes a conjunctive formula, which is a decision tree with no conditionals. It sets K to, to 1 and enters the inner loop. What we first find a stronger decision tree with k conditionals over the current set of predicates. Then synthesizes new predicates at leaves of the tree, accumulating them over rounds of learning. This process repeats with potentially new set of predicates until we converge. When we exit the inner loop, we know that there's no decision tree stronger than dt with k conditionals. We then ask if there's a stronger decision tree with k plus 1 conditionals, if there are none, we output the current decision tree, which is guaranteed to be tight. Now, if there's a stronger decision tree with k plus 1 conditional, we increment k and repeat. Now, this algorithm is parameterized over two synthesis subroutines that are formulated as SIGUS problems. SIGUS stands for syntax guided synthesis. which is the problem of synthesizing expressions in a grammar that satisfies certain logical specifications. There are several off-the-shelf Cygus engines available, and we use CVC for that. The first Cygus problem asks to construct a stronger decision tree with k conditionals, given the current decision tree. We ask for a strictly stronger decision tree using logical arguments. The second routine is called to synthesize predicates to capture functional relationships between input and output states in a given set of samples. The functions we synthesize are in a logic L of linear integer arithmetic. Our learning framework now looks like this. The learner always outputs tight summaries in each round using the algorithm I just described. And we can now prove two theorems. First, that the learning algorithm I presented terminates in each round. This actually has a subtle proof since predicates keep growing. Second, if the entire loop terminates, we always end with a contract summary that is tight and safe with respect to the test generated. We implement this framework in a tool named Prezi using PEX as the test generator, which is shipped in Visual Studio. And the CBC 
for size solver for the sagas problems. We also evaluate the strength and safety of the synthesized summaries and compare them with Dankar. We access research questions in this work, but for this presentation, we discuss these three research questions. We also evaluate on open source projects like the libraries in .NET Core, which is a cross-platform runtime for Windows, Mac OS, and Ubuntu. We also evaluate on the Quick Graph project. Both of these projects have been used in test generation and synthesis research as well. The first research questions ask, how effective is precision learning truly safe summaries? Truly safe summaries are summaries that include all behaviors of the method. We measure this question by using other test generators and manual inspection. Over 82% of the contracts, contract summaries synthesized by Proceed are truly safe, and the majority of safe summaries are destructive. The results indicate the working module of a test generator does not jeopardize safety much. The second research question asks how effectively can Proceed learn strong summaries? To measure this question, we manually write uh, uh, summaries for, for, for our subjects and uh, perform inclusion checks using Z3. We find that over 55% of perceived summaries are stronger than manually written summaries. More importantly, no manually written summary was stronger than perceived. 19% of the summaries were equivalent while 79% of the strong summaries learned by proceeds are also truly safe. Our results indicate that learning type formula leads to strong, to truly strong summaries. Uh, the last research question we discuss here is the effectiveness of proceeds compares to Daikon AL. Daikon AL is Daikon adapted to an active learning setting paired with a test generator. We find that 48% of the contracts summaries synthesized by Proceeds are stronger than Icon AL. Out of these 25 cases, 14 cases, uh, on 14 cases, Proceeds uh, synthesized disjunctive summaries, while Daikon only synthesized conjunctive summaries, indicating that there is a need to synthesize disjunctive summaries. Um, Proceeds and Daikon AL generate a comparable number of safe contract summaries. Proceeds 43 and Daikon AL 39. Our results indicate that Proceeds is more effective than Daikon heuristics for disjunctive summaries. To conclude, I hope you can remember two major things. A noble notion of tight contracts, which uh, uh, which negotiate the junctions and the strengths of contracts by dynamically growing the number of these junctions when justified. And the learning algorithm for tri contracts from positive examples that uses Saigus engines. We also implemented our learning framework in a tool Proceeds that synthesizes contracts module of the test generator. And we and our evaluation shows that Proceeds is very effective. For the future work, we plan on exploring other applications of learning likely invariants from a given set of executions, uh, because, believe we, because we believe that our, our passive learning algorithm for type formulas is very effective.